Hey hey, long time no see, welcome back to my channel. This time I'm going to Lausanne in Switzerland. I will share my first experience in skiing, so let's sit down, relax and enjoy the video. Okay, sekarang kita sudah di mobil, perjalanan makanan sekitar sekitar 6 jam. In this trip, there will be my housemate, the driver Pablo, there will be Vesile and Venicia, but she won't be skiing with us. While in the car, we did karaoke, ate homemade sandwiches, and then of course, a lot of sleep. At first, we wanted to go by train, but after some considerations and researches, going by car is cheaper and more practical. If we were going by train, it might cost us 300 euros for returns ticket, exclude the ski ticket entry, skill rental, and so on. From base home to Lausanne, it's roughly 540 km or 6 hours drive. Fortunately, we were kindly hosted by Paula. It is Pablo Cousin in Lausanne. Lausanne is a city next to Le Mans Lake, near France and Switzerland border. Good morning, this is the next day. After breakfast, we were on the way to our first ski arena, Villar. It is located at 60 km southeast of Lausanne or one hour drive. Normally, if the weather is good, we can see the lake and the mountains view. Too bad, this day it was so foggy. Alright, in my opinion, wearing a suitable ski garment is necessary. I especially bought a waterproof pen and jacket made for skiing or snowboarding for this trip at Decathlon. Sama yang bahan-bahan kayak gini yang apa namanya sih sini polar. Terus ntar daleman pakai tadalme kapan enggak bahan-bahan yang well yang first skin maksudnya yang langsung nempel ke badan. Cotton itu nyerap keringat. Terus kalau keringat kena dingin tuh badan kita bakalan makin kedinginan. So, sebaiknya kita cari bahan yang uh, seperti dari bahan len, eh len itu apa ya, wool Ya, wool atau dari polyester Ladies and gentlemen, we arrived at Villar We can feel a different vibe here, wooden houses and people wearing ski outfits everywhere Hello, on est arrivé à Villa et ça c'est Paula. Euh, donc là, c'est les, les chaussures de ski. Oui. Chaussures de ski de Paula que j'ai vraiment galéré pour en mettre. <rire> Mais finalement, c'est la bonne taille. Donc euh, oui. Pablo et Vasile sont en train de chercher euh, leurs skis et les casques qu'ils ont loués auparavant sur euh, internet. There are some train shuttle services included in the ski entry ticket. We are free to get on and off in any train station and they provide place to store our ski at the end of the wagon. Then we are free to fill the available seat. Oh my god, I'm so excited with this view. The weather is so perfect. Here we are at Villar Ski Arena. In fact, it was not really snowing lately, so some resort made artificial snow to maintain the place. They are made from a snow machine, from compressed air and water, then shoot into the air to about 10 meters. That's why we'll see some spots without snow, because they prioritize snow on ski slopes. Anyway, the view is still breathtaking. If you wonder whether it was cold or not, I can say that it was freaking cold. I had runny nose every time, but thankfully it was sunny to warm up a bit. Actually, there are three types of paths in skiing. The first one is blue trail, and then the red trail, and the last one, black trail. And maybe the other one is off-piste or off-trail. At the beginning, I was training in children's section to learn some moves and get comfortable with the equipment. Then I moved to the blue trail, and then the last one, the finisher, the red trail. The way to tell the trail is by the sticks color stuck on the ground aligned on the left and right making the path. So blue is for beginner, red intermediate and then black advanced. 
I fell down so many times on the red trail because maybe I was tired and my feet are so sore because I got bruises or maybe because I'm just bad at skiing. That's it, end of my first day of skiing. There will be the second part for the second day, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video then. Bye! Je suis trop fatiguée.